G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac, where we teach you the basics of Swift in 10 minutes or less. Today's lesson is typecasting. So let's have a look at typecasting in 10 minutes or less. A typecasting allows you to either check the type or a property with the is or as commands or keywords, uh, or it allows you to treat a type as one of its superclass or subclasses. So let's define a class hierarchy. We'll call it uh, a class media item. It'll have a name string and it'll have initializer, which sets the name uh, variable. So then we'll create a couple of subclasses. So here we have a movie, which is a media item, and it'll have a director, and the initialization will set the, uh, the, the string uh, of the uh, the name of the superclass and it will set the name of the director and he will have a song which is another media item and it will have the property of an artist and in its initializer it will set the name of the superclass and it will set the uh, name of the artist. So now that we've got these um, this this uh, sort of data hierarchy um, will need some data. So we'll set up a, a dictionary, that's our library, and we'll have, uh, sorry, it's an array, and uh, we'll have a movie, a song, a movie, a song, and another song called Casablanca and directed by Michael Curtis, etc. And then what we want to do is we want to check the type of all of the items in the array. So let's set the movie count to zero and the song count to zero. And we'll just iterate in a for in loop for each item in the library. If the item is is of type movie, then we'll increment the movie count. Else if the item is a song, then we'll uh, increment the song count. And uh, well, if it's neither of those, nothing happens. And we just iterate back through the loop. And then at the very end, we'll print out the media library contains the movie count movies and the song count songs. We'll run that. And sure enough, it contains two movies and three songs. So here we can see that we can check a class is of a specific type. If the item is a movie or if the item is a song. And movie and song are, of course, these class names. Downcasting allows you to downcast a property that's a variable or constant into a subclass where possible. You can do it optionally with as question mark, which will return an optional type, or you can do it as a forced downcast with the as bang or as exclamation mark when you know that the downcast will work. Um, as always, if you force downcast and it fails, you will get a runtime crash. Okay, so what are we doing here? For item in library, if let movie equals item as movie, print movie name director, else if let song equals item as song, print the song name and the song artist. So what we're doing is <coughs> we're checking each item and checking to see if it's a movie. If it's not a movie, then it moves down to the next if, if it is a movie, it creates a temporary variable called movie, which is not optional, and that allows us to print out the member properties. And the reverse is true. Here, uh, it tests, or it tries to set um, item as a song, and if it's successful, then uh, song will be set to the type uh, song, and it will contain the variable's name and artist, which we can then print out. In casting as any or any object, any can be anything at all, any type or a function type. Any object can be any class. So if we create a variable called things, an array of any with an initializer, things can be an array of anything. We can append a double, we can append a string, we can append uh, a, a new movie. 
and then we can do a for loop for a thing in things, switch on that thing, and for the case uh, zero as a double, um, here we have uh, zero as a double, so it will print out a 0, 0 0.0 double, then it will say case let movie as movie, print movie name, and so here we'll have a movie name and it should print out gladiator, and the default is do nothing with the remainder, so we shouldn't print hello. And if we run that, um, a double, do nothing with the remainder, and the, the gladiator. So that is in the order that they were appended, uh, because arrays are, or appending of arrays, uh, is at the end of the array, and it's ordered or sorted. Hopefully uh, that helps you understand how any or any object works. Clearly, uh, if you use a, an array of any object, then you can only have classes. Well, that's it for typecasting. If you have any questions about the tutorial, then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter, at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.